Hey, Dr. McCann here, and we're going to go over two common adverse events or side effects of the GLP shots that are completely underrated and that you might not have any clue it's related to the GLP shots. So we've all heard of the serious, scary side effects of gastric paralysis, intestinal obstruction, pancreatitis, and we also all know the common side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, but there are two, again, completely underrated side effects that can really be affecting your daily life. The first of these is chronic dehydration, and this is even if you're not having nausea, vomiting, or uh, diarrhea. So your body is made up of 60% water, and it is recommended that in healthy individuals, men take in 13 cups of fluid a day and women take in nine cups of fluid a day under normal circumstances. And thirst is generally considered to be a great indicator of when you need to drink to keep you hydrated because the human body is amazing. Your brain senses changes in the blood and it sends signals that make you want to drink more. And this is a protective me mechanism that makes you stay hydrated. So the GLP shots change a lot of this. Number one, they act directly in the brain to decrease your sensation of thirst. So you might not feel like taking in as much fluids as you need to. Number two, it slows down your GI system. So even when you are thirsty, you can't physically take in as much recommended fluids as needed, especially during the extreme heat. Number three, they act directly in the kidney to make you urinate more called diuresis and in that urine you excrete more sodium or electrolytes and so you're low on electrolytes you're not taking in as much fluid and your body doesn't necessarily tell you that you need to take in fluids and all of this can lead to chronic dehydration and again in most circumstances um, it's still fine but we know the, ex the extreme heat is affecting everybody during the summer you just need to pay attention to how much you drink and make sure you take in enough electrolytes. And of course, these days, this all has to be balanced with artificial sweeteners, too much real sugar, artificial colors and dyes, and microplastics. So it's a very daunting task to get all of these in one package when you're trying to do what's best for your health, and then it's just being sabotaged by other factors. I know it's daunting, but it's very important to get this figured out. And number two, the second common adverse event that you may not know is related to the shot is fatigue. And I hear this all of the time. People, women come in thinking their hormones are off, their thyroid medicine's not working because they're so tired. And if you think back, if it correlated to when you started your GLP shot, it's definitely a side effect of the shots. And this is even if you're taking in uh, as many calories as you were before the shots, which would be rare. But even if you were taking in as many calories, um, the fatigue is not necessarily related to caloric deficit. It is related to, again, direct effects in your brain. And sometimes this fatigue can be significant to where you really don't feel like doing much during the day at all. And so bottom line is you need to be aware of the side effects and adverse events of the GLP medications. And if you work outside in the extreme heat, you might wanna to talk to your provider on if this is the appropriate time to start or continue the GLP medications.